Uh, okay. Um, don't look at me, look at the camera. Uh, okay, so I'm Amrit. This is part two of our PC build. Um, we already did part one. We covered all the parts that we've got. Some of the parts are missing here because we cleared it, um, some of it away. But the, um, so yeah, we discussed all the PC parts that are going to go into our build. Uh, discussed all the prices and uh, why I made the choices that I did with all the parts. So now we're going to get down to um, actually putting it all in here and hopefully it not exploding. So... <laughs> So the processor hasn't even been opened yet, so I obviously need this to open it. Yeah, don't use a knife, by the way. Use scissors or something. How do you open this? Why? Is... Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it's sellotaped in two places. <laughs> I know that, that I watch a, a guy on YouTube Actually, in fact, I've learned most of this from him um, called uh, J2, uh, J2 Sense, I think, is, I think his name is. And um, yeah, he has a habit of, first of all, not being able to open AMD processor boxes and also dropping them. And I think I'm having, oh, no, no, there we go. Yeah, so I got it. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Why? That's weird. They just charged me like 50 pounds just for the bloody case. The buy the fancy box. Okay, so here we got the processor here. So here's the motherboard. So you can have a closer look at it if you want. Did I actually undo that? Yes, I did. Come on. Do you want to come in and have a closer look? Oh, look at that. Take this out. What's this? Okay, there's spare parts in that one. Uh, and so that is the motherboard. So let's just get this out of here. Come on. It doesn't want to come out. Okay, there we go. So there is the board, the motherboard. Right, let's install this, uh, this processor. This is a really, really easy process. So basically, you take, I'm not even going to read the instructions for this because I don't need to. So you just undo this clip here, and then it all goes up. Push that up as well. So there we go, There's, that's where the processor goes. Don't touch any of those, because those are all pins in there. And it looks like there's a hell of a lot. So the last thing you want to do is damage that, otherwise you're pretty much screwed. So here's the processor. So I'm just gonna grab the processor like this. So there we go, there's no pins on the processor, so the pins are all on there. And this needs to go in a specific way. So there is a tiny, tiny little arrow just there in that little corner. I don't know if you can see it in there. So just in that corner is a really small little arrow. And then on here, there should be a arrow as well. There should be an arrow as well. Where's the arrow? Why do they not have an arrow on there? That's a little bit awkward. Unless it's that one there. Okay, I think it's that one in that corner. No, that's not the arrow. I didn't see an arrow there. Where's the one? Well, this is awkward, isn't it? There's meant to be an arrow there telling you how, which way to put this in, but I don't see one unless it's on here. There it is, there's the arrow. Yeah. Okay, so now he's <laughs> we found the arrow. <laughs> we found the arrow. That was gonna be a little bit awkward. So it's in this corner here. So it needs to go in this way. So there we go. Just drop that in. That almost felt magnetic, actually. So there's the arrow there. Mm -hmm. And then closing this, you can see the arrow on that side. Mm -hmm. So what we then do is just pop it there and then bring this one down, lock it in place, and this pops off. And there we go, processor is installed. So we basically keep a hold of this um, plastic thing because uh, we don't want to lose that. Right, so here's the SSD and our RAM. So we're going to install all of this first. So the SSD goes into here. So it's supposed to go under this. So let's put the SSD in first. So we just undo this. 
to go. So that should just lift up. There we are. Uh, so yeah, so it goes there. So we'll put this to one side. That's where this would have been useful, actually. So you can put it on there. Right. So we need to open this here. There we go. So that should lift up. And there we go. That's for the that's for the SSD. So we've got the heat sink under there. So we need to um, undo that. So here's the SSD that we've got. Okay, so there's our SSD, this tiny little thing. So this goes in right there. Where does it go in? Right there. There we go. And does it just fit in right there? Or do we need a standoff for it? Have a look. No, that's flexing a bit. So maybe there are some extra screws in this box that I didn't find. So yeah, so basically I was wondering where half of the stuff is. Uh, and I realized in that hidden panel inside the box, uh, that, which is why I took the book out because I thought, okay, I'm getting confused as to what's going on here. But yeah, underneath it, we found all of this stuff. So basically, that's where the screws were that I was looking for. So it goes here. So we just screw that in there. Like that. Let's try again. So we attach this. Put it in there. There we go. Now it's all lined up. Now this one doesn't cover that, so we need this screw. I think this screwdriver I'm using, by the way, is not magnetic as well, which poses another problem. Uh, the screws drop all over the place. In fact, actually inside this case, there is a loose screw because I was trying to tighten it and it fell off the end. So um, first things first, before I even install anything in there, I've got to find that. See, that's what happens. Let me get that other screwdriver set. So what we're going to do to use this because it's magnetic and it makes it so much bloody easier so we just peel that off and this gets attached back down to here there we go i'm going to use this one now There we are, and then there we are. Right, so that's the SSD installed, the processor installed. We're gonna install the RAM as well. These are probably most the easiest. I say that now, and there's a probably screw up as well, but these are the most <laughs> easiest things to install. So we've got our Corsair uh, dim sticks. <laughs> okay, so you just gotta make sure that you got the notches in the right place. I'll start from this end because it's easier doing it from this side so come on go in there we go so that's notched in the right place and just push it in there we go these are really tall uh, sticks as well things so I'm down with attach this back on here as well because right now I've got the gaming speed one wait how does this go on here because if I say new here, there's gonna be a fast. There's a big f hole there. So there must have been some. Am I holding it even the right way? Actually, I think it goes in this way, doesn't it? Does it go in this? No, it can't go in that way. It does go this way. Just gotta figure out where I got it off from. <laughs> it wasn't there. I'm sure it was like somewhere here, maybe. No. No, definitely not. No, definitely not that far ahead. No, it wasn't that way. It wasn't that way. Ah, oh, the troubles of building a bloody PC. So I just got to figure out. Yeah, I think it was this way. So I just got to figure out where these screws go. I think it was here. There we go. We found it. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this bracket on there now. Uh, the actual cooler itself will actually attach to it. Oh, that's going to fall from there. Let's put it over here. So yeah, the actual actual um, uh, cooler will attach once it's actually inside because I think it'll be easier for me to do it that way. Uh, some people do attach it while it's out, but for me, I think it'll be easier on the inside. So let's just have a look at the underside of this. So this needs to go here and we just need to pass it through these holes at the back. We've got one, got two, got three and four. So there we go. So those are gone through there. So they've come out over here. So there's four there. There they are. So what we're going to do is just attach these into the those four like so. Let's start with undoing this bloody heavy, ridiculously heavy case. So, right, so the plan is for the moment, I'm gonna take this back panel off first, actually. We've got one missing screw anyway. Let's see if we can find it. It's here somewhere. You don't wanna be leaving a screw rattling around in here in case it causes a short circuit. Where are you? Did you say you heard it in there as well? Yeah. So let's see if we can figure out. I'll see there it. we go. It's here. You got it? Oh, you got it. Okay, okay so we got the, 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 the renegade screw, finally. So that's, that's good. I knew that was uh, in there somewhere. I don't remember where it came from. I just remember that. I think it was actually from this. Yeah, there we go. So it's missing up there. So um, that was from there when I first opened it to have a look. And I was really daunted by all the wiring. I'm going to put this one back here in the panel at the back because I don't want to lose this damn screw. And it just... Oh, you got to be me. Go back in there. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's the same screw as well. The top one. How the hell am I meant to grab it? Actually, do you know what? I can grab it from back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top panel off, uh, which is glass. And because uh, I don't want to mess around with this while the glass is in there. And it just makes it a little tiny bit lighter as well. So I'm going to undo the top. And we need to install our radiator there anyway. So that's going to be good to remove. So I'm going to put this to one side. There's stuff everywhere at the moment. I'm going to hold it and then, actually, do you know what? <laughs> See, I keep drawing. <laughs> this screw does not want to go in. I'm going to leave it here because um, I need to uh, take that panel off anyway, afterwards. I will get it in eventually. I don't care how much of a resistance it puts up. <laughs> it's going in there, one way or the other. Um, so we need the standoff screws for the, ke uh, for the motherboard. So all the ones that have A here, so as you can see here now, all the ones that have A need to have a, a screw in there to hold the case. So they just stand off, so they keep it away from the case. And then that's what the motherboard um, hooks into. But by the looks of it, there's some missing because there's only one, two. So they've only got two in here. There should be a bag that came with this actually, hang on. I just remembered that I took this box out at the beginning. Voila, here they are. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't, um, shouldn't separate everything all over the place. So those um, screws that I had to put into the case, which the uh, motherboard is gonna rest on, uh, I've put them all in if you wanna come and take a look, a uh, closer look. So there's no, there was nine of them. So it's these ones here. So there's three here, three here, and then three down here. And um, I've, I screwed them in by hand, but there were a couple that I couldn't really get in properly. And then I noticed inside the bag, you get one of this little tool. So all you basically do is pop that over the top of them. So screw it in by hand, pop that over the top, and then you just screw it in. So it makes it easier and your fingers don't hurt for ages after trying to manually screw it in. Um, so those are all done. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to put the motherboard into here, uh, put it in place. I've got the screws out that we need to use to screw it down. The so I've got the I've got the um, the uh, radiator out as well. So that's the uh, cooler that we're going to use. The only thing is is basically figuring out if that's going to be big enough. Uh, well, the, the radiator is big enough anyway, but basically these fans are going to fit onto the radiator. So we want them to be in a push format. So basically they're going to be pushing air out of the case uh, and pushing all the heat out. So they're going to essentially go in here at the top. So, but the only problem is we're not sure if the, the motherboard is going to be in the way. So we're going to have a look. We're going to put the motherboard in first, see how it goes, then try that and see what happens with that. So I'm going to grab the motherboard actually. And we're going to just find those standoffs that I just put in there. Come on, where does it go? Is it somewhere here? There we go. That's lined up perfectly. Just going to check around, make sure that's all lined up with those holes. Yes, it has. Right, so that's, the, that's, uh, that's where it fits. So we're going to put the screws in, get that screw down into place right so we've got that in there now uh which is fantastic did i just tie that underneath the bloody motherboard oh for i have to basically undo it now and pull this wire out so i'm going to do this off camera so i'm gonna have to take all the wires off so yeah just make sure when you put the, <laughs> the motherboard into place make sure this fan cable here you go you can see it's uh, trapped underneath the motherboard Make sure you pull that out first and it doesn't get trapped underneath because otherwise you're going to have to undo it all and then loosen it out. So I'm going to do that now. Stop recording. Yeah. Yeah, I trapped that this fan cable underneath the motherboard. So I had to undo it all. It did only take literally a couple of minutes. Uh, undo it all and pull it back out again. So be cautious of that. <laughs> the idea is the fan is going to go here on the inside uh, at the top and the, the fans themselves... Let me just pop that in there. <laughs> So that's going to go there and the fans are going to go here. So what my concern was whether there's enough space here for the fans to fit in. It looks like there's plenty of space, so we're not going to have a problem with that. So we've got three fans and there is an arrow on these fans as I was showing you. So if you want to get in closer to this, I don't know if you can see it, you remove this. So there, there we have a little arrow there. That tells you which way the airflow is. So the arrow is facing upwards. So that means the air comes in through the back and out through the front. Okay, so basically, as we were saying, okay, we had a little bit of a problem with our camera, basically. So uh, our camera batteries are playing up, so we've had to switch to um, a phone. Luckily, he's got a decent phone, so um, we're basically now filming on that. So anyway, so as I was saying before, uh, we, what we're going to do now is screw down the fans onto the radiator. We're going to pop it over there. So basically these are, these are what we need. So we need these washers, these thick washers, and we need these long screws. So what I'm going to do, so basically, give me the, um, bringing this over here so that you can see. So what we do is, so they're all, all the holes are marked out, all the holes on here are marked out. What I want to do is as long as the, when you put the fans on, as long as the, the logo is on the outside. That way the air goes in this way and pushes out from the other end. Uh, it's fine. So I'm keeping these uh, cables all to one side, which is basically at the top. That way we can, as I said on here, we can um, push them out through these holes and uh, wire around to the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and uh, carry on. Cool. So, okay. So finally the fans are on. So you can see them here. They're all basically attached onto the radiator. So all that's ready. Oops. Okay, so basically the fans are on the radiator. I will be honest, I did have to take them off and reposition them because I put them in the wrong way around. Uh, I just thought I'd be honest. Right, so now it's gonna go into here. So what we're going to do, so this is gonna be attached up here and the cables are going to go through these holes here to the other side. So I think, we should be able to, I might even have to actually lift this up and do it that way. So 
So right, so we've got the um, cooler fitted in there, so it looks nice and oh, it looks nice and snug. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't broken it. So it looks nice and snug in there. So now uh, it comes to basically attaching the actual uh, cooler. I can't remember what they call this bit, um, but we need to attach this onto there. So the the way I plan to do it is this way around. So the, the cables are this side. Um, so it should basically go there, just like that. So it's already got, um, is that gonna be all right actually? It seems like it will be fine. But the cables will be a little bit stretched, but I think they should be okay. Um, these cables all need to go to the, um, some of these cables need to go to the back, some of them connect to the front. Uh, but we're gonna sort that out eventually afterwards. It depends on time as well. So if not, if I can't do it here, then I'll just put a, um, uh, a video in afterwards um, showing how to do that. So first things first, this needs to go onto there. So this is the, the probably the most easiest bit because um, all we do is just drop that straight on and then I've got these uh, these screws in this bag, these ones, uh, thumb screws, and they basically just connect to each corner of that, of that um, cooler. So let me get those out because we're gonna need those. Uh, so all we do with this is basically remove this plastic which protects that plate and then it's got the thermal paste on there already so we don't need to do anything with that. So all we do with this is basically just pop it on there straight on so it will go in. Got a do we might, might need to actually connect it. No, it's better this way. So we connect it this way. Just trying to get that right. So it should be. Come on, go in. Does it go? There we go. Is it there? Just having some difficulty getting those in. So there we go. So it goes right there. And then we just connect these onto those screws. There you go, so that's installed. So these, like I said, these cables, some of these cables need to be connected onto the motherboard, I believe, and I think some of them go around to the back. This SATA cable here goes around to the back because that gives it the power. And then I know that we need to connect one onto the motherboard, which gives the uh, power to the pump. So I'm not sure exactly where that is. But that's something that we need to check with the book because on the book it will show you where everything goes. So that we can wait until afterwards. The next step is the power supply. I think that's the most important thing so they can give this thing some power. So power supply goes right into there. So all you do is basically unscrew these. Oh, those are in tight. Very tight actually. I thought they're meant to be easily loosened by hand, but not so much. So let me just take those off. There we go. That's the other one, that's that one as well. So there we go. So basically the power supply connects to this bracket and then we just um, slide it straight in. So this is the power supply, the EVGA. Uh, this has already been tested to make sure it works because uh, they supply it with a really, really cool little bracket uh, that you connect to the power supply so you can test it out. I've got some zip ties here to clean up the wiring afterwards. So here's the power supply. We'll get to that in a moment. Here's all the cables. So you get this little device which you plug it into the power supply. Uh, once you plug it into the wall, you just plug this into the front so you can need to connect the the motherboard cable to it. Uh, and then you plug this into the front of that and you can actually power on the power supply to make sure it actually does work. Uh, so that's that's a, that's really handy. So that was the first thing I used when I got it, just to make sure it actually works so that we don't go through all this trouble and the power supply doesn't work. So here's the power supply. There we go. Nice chunky little box. So. We, what we're going to do first is we're going to attach all the cables that we're going to be using. So we need this one because that powers the motherboard. So we'll definitely need that. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's it, guys. So from these ones, let's just go through 
these cables and see what we're going to need. So it'll go in this way. So what you do is take this bracket and it just connects here. Now there are some screws in here. Do I take them out or do I leave them in there? Let's collect them in the box. Here we go. So we've got some screws here. There we are. So we basically just use these. See if I can get them out. Come on. Right, so we just use these screws to attach on to, onto this power supply. So what you do is you just attach this bracket onto there. There's four screws, screw holes there. Attach it onto that and they just basically slide straight in and you can tighten these uh, in place. What I mean, the only difference is what I'm going to do is once I've tightened these on, uh, I'm going to attach um, these ones. So I'm going to attach a motherboard cable onto there and the CPU cable as well, because I'm pretty sure we need that. I'm not sure what we're going to use it for yet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just like doing this as I go. So I'm making it up as I go. So we'll see what happens, but I'll attach those two first and then we'll see what happens after that. If I need to attach more after, so I can always pull it out and do it again. It's a longer process, but it works. So we'll be right back. Basically, here we go. So here's the power supply all connected. I've connected all of the um, cables in there. So what I did is I put the motherboard cable in, I put the CPU cables in, uh, which are going to go for the, uh, which are going to go to the um, graphics card once it's finally in there. It's just easier for me to connect them now and just leave them in there uh, instead of having to pull it out and reconnect them afterwards. Um, I've got a SATA cable in there that's going to go to a hard drive. I'm not sure about any of the rest. I'm not sure if I'm going to need them or not. So I'm not going to bother with those. So what I'm going to do is just connect this. The hard drive is going to be installed in there at some point, but initially I'm not going to install it in there because it'll just make installing Windows a lot more simpler. So once Windows is installed and everything, then I can open it up and install the uh, three and a half inch drive that I've got, which is this one right here, uh, the Barracuda one. So that's going to be installed after. So we'll leave that one till last. So yeah, so what I'll do, this is going to get installed and then we're going to basically call it a night here because it is getting quite late. Not the ideal location, but it'll have to do. So I need to take this radiator off as well. Um, there's a cable uh, a power cable that connects to the motherboard um, just behind this radiator so obviously I didn't realize I thought there was enough space for the radiator to go on which there was because it's already on there the only problem is when once I wired that uh, power cable through so here's here's the motherboard power cable uh, just just down here um, let me just move this camera so you can see yeah so there's the there's the uh, motherboard cable. So that one came through fine. So there's the cable uh, that comes up behind this radiator. Uh, and that's the one that um, I can't get a hold of. I, I won't be able to plug it in uh, from where it is. So the only way to do that is to take this radiator off uh, um, and just plug that in first and then put the radiator back on. Um, I'm not gonna take the power supply out just to uh, show you how I put it in, there's no point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take these, these covers off as I said, so you can see the power supply in there. Um, and I can, uh, I took off the cables that connect to the, uh, to the um, GPU because I didn't have the GPU, that has finally arrived. So uh, they had it in stock so I bought it straight away. So I'm gonna reconnect those. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can do it through here without taking the power supply out. And so. Um, yeah, we'll have a look. I'll try and um, comment as much as I can, but as I said, uh, space is an issue where I am at the moment. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So I thought I'd show you guys the back of the case. So here's the two screws that come off from this panel. And there's one hidden behind here, which undoes the panel at the front. So I'm gonna get on with that and then take off the one behind this as well. Um, so here's the cable, so I just wanted to show you. So the 20, I think it's 24 pin which has gone back behind here uh, and I've rooted that uh, in place. These two are the CPU power cables. So as you can see, I've put them through here. So I finally plugged in the, um, the, the CPU cables, the power cables. That took a little while to do. Um, I didn't realize just how cramped it is in there, but uh, I finally got them connected. So that's one thing out of the way. 
Uh, so now we're just going to focus on that radiator and get that installed. Then I'll pull this off, uh, insert the hard drive, and um, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so all those problems and issues are, are now f***ing done. Um, so there's the there's the radiator now in back in place. Um, I've got the, the power connector, you can't see them from here, but the CPU power connectors are all done. Uh, I just realized actually with the with the with this one for the for the motherboard um, that I should have actually routed it through here so I'm gonna move that um, up one and route it through I think that'll just look better as well up there so I'm gonna do that in a little while so I got the shrouds off and um, a word of note uh, I think for for future or anybody else who's um, uh, planning to Put a similar system together, remove that shroud first before you put the motherboard in uh, and then probably put the power supply in first with all the co uh, with all the connectors because uh, taking that out was a real pain in the ass. So uh, I'm just worried about getting it back in there now so uh, it should be okay I'll, I'll manage to squeeze it in or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here because this video has gone um, quite long already as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power supply in, uh, sorry uh, connect, reconnect the power supply or, or all the bits that are missing um, put the hard drive into it I think I've got a second spare hard drive uh, which is only 500 gigabyte but I might pop that in there as well get those connected um, and uh, basically yeah so and, and then I'll go from there and see what else we need to do and I might just connect everything up and then come back uh, once the system is ready I think that would just be easier as well because I don't want to this is not really a, a walkthrough so yeah, so give me a while, I'm going to connect all of this up and uh, I'll be back.